I got up the other day like at three o'clock in the morning and I woke up and I was just walking around like, cause I was like, I'm so tired. I heard the devil say, go back to sleep. And my body said, yo, E, what, what would you go back to sleep for? All of us are self-made, but only the successful will admit it. Whatever time I call time, so my call time is at seven, then you back your clock up four hours and then that's when I get up. People say to me, what do you do in the morning? Well, two hours in the morning, that's a lot of time. Well, if I can overcome myself at the beginning of the day, the rest of my day is easy. You like the 4 a.m. slot? Because my brain waves are just right. I don't have to work as hard. Yeah, my body's a little fatigued, but I get up and do it. Those hard days, the days that are the most challenging, are always the most rewarding. Because now, you're uncompromising to an outcome. It takes understanding that if you're not pumped right now, if you're begrudging what you're about to do, if you're, if you're not looking forward to it, look, you gotta pay your rent, you got student loans, I get it. But if we stay in process, all right, within ourselves, in the joy of the doing, we will never choke at the finish line. Why? Because we aren't thinking of the finish line. Because we're not looking at the clock. No, we're in process. The approach is the destination, and we are never finished. You woke yourself up. So if you were tired, your body wouldn't let you get up. If you were tired, your body would make you sleep to six. What you don't want to do is the grind, but you're up. You've been getting up at three so early in the morning, don't even worry about it. Just put your shoes on, and when you get on the treadmill, it's just going to do it for you because you've been doing it every day for three o'clock in the morning. For real. Look, my body said, all you got to do is put your shoes on. That's the hardest thing you got to do. Just put your shoes on and I'll do the rest. And so then on sleep, I get eight hours of sleep. I prioritize it. Unless I'm traveling in different time zones, sometimes it's impossible. But I am very um, focused on it. And, and, and the, for me, I need eight hours of sleep. I think better. I have more energy. My mood is better. All these things. There's a really powerful quote by a guy named Kevin Kelly, and he said, don't prematurely optimize. Don't just settle on a morning routine because I say it or because somebody else says it. Think of each part of those routines that you hear as being like Legos, and you're gonna try a bunch of different Legos, and then you're gonna see which ones create the morning routine that's perfect for you. And that is the key. It needs to be perfect for you. There isn't going to be any one size fits all. There are going to be different things that work for different people. So make sure that you get out there and try a bunch of things and then see what works for you. Now, when I think about a morning routine and what order I'm going to do things in, it has to do with what's going on in my life at that point, what's the most important thing to me in that moment, and then ordering things accordingly. So there have been times in my life where the first thing I do is meditate. There have been times in my life where the first thing I do is go to the gym. And so those are really the big two things that I um, oscillate between. But there are also times where I will immediately go to work. So any one of those three things may be the first thing that I'm doing in my morning routine, depending on what's going on in my life. So how do I decide between those? The thing that I want to make sure that no matter what else happens during the day, I get that done then I do that first. And that really is what slot number one is for in any morning routine, is what is the most important thing that you know, no matter what else falls by the wayside during this day, if it gets crazy, things will crop up, that I know that I'm gonna get that thing.